What? You got something in your teeth. Like? Spinach. Did I get it? We're rolling! Oh yeah, welcome back to the Westmount Highlights. Today's the week of March 20, 2023. Big congratulations to the girls' badminton team, both Bantam and Cadet levels for winning against Lauren Hill. Our next practice is on Tuesday, March 21, after school. And our next home game is at March 22nd. Even though Mr. Meads is gone, the Board King Club is still open days four and nine at lunch in room 117. Don't forget, on this Wednesday, we have the Purple and White Review Talent Show. We'll be selling tickets every lunchtime at the lobby. Now let's see what the TWH crew has been cooking up for us this week. <coughs> Ow. Where were you guys? We were time traveling the whole time. Julius, where are you? Guys, what are we gonna do now? I don't know, man. I give up. To be honest, it's kind of a goofy goober. Did someone say goofy goober? <laughs> Julius, there you are! Finally, bro! It took forever to get to you. Talk about comedic timing. Wait a minute. Where's James? No, we're not doing that bit again. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, let's I not know. do that again. I know I am. Evening, or afternoon, Malachi. I started working here 14 years ago. I used to have all brown hair. Uh, that's correct. Uh, I still consider myself a drama teacher. Out of the 14 years here, I taught drama for I think 11 or 12 years. Lately, it's just been my schedule changed and I got just English. And it's also easier just to, I don't have that time after school like I used to with the two young kids at home to, to give extra time for uh, plays and whatnot. Greatest album of all time. Uh, I listen to many different genres, so oof. Um, it really depends. Again, it's you know apples and oranges. So hip hop, I'd say, kind of like uh, Black Star would be one of my top albums. Uh, for rock, you know, there's David Bowie. I think his last one, Black Star, was really important. You know, then there's electronic. There's Jacques Green. I love his work. Uh, I actually knew him when he was a young kid, so it's kind of interesting to hear his music now. Yeah, it's, that's tough. That's a really tough question. It really depends on, I guess, really the style and, and, and what genre you're looking at, just like the place. I'd want to say the 90s, because that's kind of, you know, my late teens and early 20s, and, and you're, you're still kind of naive back then, naive and innocent, right? You're, you're, you're an adult now, and you can make tons of mistakes, and Everything's new and exciting, and you got all that energy. Uh, and I love, you know, the grunge era was fun. It was, uh, it was a, the 90s were, were quite chill. There's also the 80s, which were quite fun. So I'd say the 80s or 90s. I don't think I've reached it. I think once I, I always feel like when you start, your personal goals now become your goals in the work. That's when you're not doing your job anymore. Because as a teacher, public, um, only public office, if you will, you're you're trying to support the students. You're trying to get them to succeed. So their goals are your goals. So I think that my I think just becoming a teacher and and being at Westmount, I've been really really fortunate. Uh, I've been very fortunate and, and scored in that sense. Do I know how to gritty? Of course I know how to gritty. Come on. And now, Mr. Gilligan hates the gritties. Oh, 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 oh. 
that's it for our show. See you next week. Until then, keep the nightlights on for you. Be well out there. Bye.